Yo, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Jeff. I'm back with another video for you guys. So, I, this is like the fourth or fifth time I'm recording this. <sighs> Anyways, let's do this. So, as you can tell by the title, we are going to inject a GSC, uh, meaning a map menu. We're going to install a map menu on zombies and on multiplayer in the game Black Ops 2. And it works. I tested it out before. And, I'm, and you can see this video as a testing, uh, but it works. So yeah, all the links will be in the description box below. So what you have to do is click in the link in the description box below. So click on the link in the description box below, and that will take you to this page right here. This is my uh, sg 4 wise additional files web, web, uh, website. So, you know, for the advantage, advantage tools and stuff, it says it right here, but this website doesn't only support PS3, it also supports, well, technically it also supports all consoles, so PS4, next gen, current gen, old gen, whatever. Uh, but it also supports all electronic devices, meaning like phones, Android, or Apple, doesn't really matter, iPads, and stuff like that. So, uh, laptops, iMacs, PCs, and stuff, everything it supports. So, but we're gonna go into RTM tools at the very bottom. And then scroll down uh, where it says SG4Y's multi RTM tool pack. Uh, it will include all Black Ops series for zombies and multiplayer, and all Modern Warfare series for multiplayer and Spec Ops. Just click on download, and that will take you to SG4Y's RTM tool pack download. Um, and it's going to be a WinRAR file. So let that just download. There we go. Open it up. Now. In here, you will see BO2 RTM, RTM tool, uh, hand tool, BO2 V3, and multi RTM tool. Uh, we are going to focus on the first one, BO2 RTM tool. So I'm just going to drag that out in here. So we can delete that actually. Uh, let me just double check real quick. Yeah, okay. So now let's close this. And we have this right here. Um, let's open it up and let's go ahead and double press on it. And it will say you need to install CC API to use this library. This is not an error, this is just a notification saying like, hey, make sure you have this thingy installed. Uh, which actually means that you need webman mod. Doesn't matter, doesn't really matter what version you have on CFW, but on OFW or, you know, HFW, meaning hybrid firmware. Um, you need to install, download install webmap mod and I made a detailed, like a fully detailed video about it um, there's one for where it was like 3 or 4 hours um, long video uh, which was actually a live stream I believe and I made a short tutorial video so watch the short one which is like 15 to 20 minutes I believe uh, so you can get the CC API enable and you know what man modern get it to work and also sign in so anyways uh, press ok and press ok it will open your web browser minimize that and press ok now you will see this uh, youtube slash rs glitching so shout out to that guy uh, but what you have to do is you need your ps3 ip now your ps3 ip and this is a cool little feature that you can spoof your ip to 000 that's fucking cool i love that but uh what we have to do is um, find out what's our PSN IP address. Um, now, if you like, oh yeah, I know my PS3 IP address, um, and you try it and it doesn't work, that means that your PS3 IP on your console has been changed, which means that you have to check because, uh, believe it or not, your IP on your console will change quite often, um, Especially on the wired connection, because if you are connected to the internet using a wired connection, um, yeah, a wired connection will get changed, like the IP address will change more often than a wireless connection. Because for a wireless connection, it takes like three to five days uh, that it will like refresh or change the IP. Uh, for wired connections, it's like two days, two to three days. So just double check. Uh, what we're going to do is we're not going to touch anything in here. Let's switch over to the console and I will show you what to do.
Okay, so on OBS, yeah, you can hear the difference between my mic on Bandicam and on OBS. I know, sorry, but um, let's sign in or go into our account that we use for exploits. Definitely recommend you to make a separate modding account just to be safe as a condom. Uh, and also make sure that you don't sign in and check off that sign in automatically auto sign in feature or option. Now, again, do not sign in. Um, what we have to do is let's go ahead and enable HAN. And it doesn't really matter what version of HAN you use, just enable it. Uh, I'm using, I believe, 2.0.0. Um, okay, so with that done, you should get a notification on the upper right corner saying your webman there we go webman for me it's for me it is webman 1.47.18 uh, so that one works that's good doesn't really matter what version you have it's cool and then uh launch the game do not touch the rtm tool just yet let's launch the game and uh, you know always delete your sequence and stuff i will do that later um but here's a quick tip if you have modded eboots or yeah, if you have modded eBoots installed on Black Ops 2 on your console, don't use it while using a RTM tool. Uh, it may work, but it may also just mess everything up. So, okay, cool. Uh, let the game just load. Sometimes you, you might be like, okay, I'm waiting like three or two minutes. My console froze. Just don't touch it. Um, sometimes if you mod and stuff, it just needs time to load up the game uh, especially when you have uh, mod menus installed even though we have nothing installed just yet uh, because of enabling hand it might take sometimes a few minutes so after five yeah after about five minutes you can check it to uh, press the power button once and if it beeps that means it was trying to launch the game it wasn't crashed it wasn't frozen nothing it just needs more time so uh, when, when we press the play online now we can go ahead and do R2 and triangle. You will hear a beep and it will remove your history files and stuff. If it says um, history files and CFW um, sequels already deleted and you hear two beeps, good to go, no worries. Let's sign in. Signing in and come on, boy. There we go, connecting to online servers and on Black Ops 2, it's fucking laggy. You can already see it's lagging. Um, so come on now, let it just load, it will also come up with a message like saying like yeah, Facebook feature is disabled or whatever, uh, it's Black Ops 2, there we go, there we go, there we go, now let's go into custom games, let's use Nuketown for now, why not, survival, and just stay in the lobby, don't launch the game, now with the game up and running, and we are in the lobby. You don't have to be in lobby, but just launch the game. Uh, if you don't launch the game and you connect the RTM tool, you'll freeze. You can't use your, you can't uh, use your controller. And when you unplug it, or yeah, when you un unplug it, or unconnect it, or disconnect it, uh, you'll freeze. So just launch the game first, then connect it. So let's switch over to the PC, and I will show you exactly what to do. Okay. Now that we're on the PC, what you want to do is type in your PS3 IP address right here, um, which I will do now. And then we just simply hit connect to hand. Now we are, oh, and it comes with this, just, um, yeah, okay, just hit uh, attach selected. There we go. Now, just don't click anything. Don't do anything. This will uh, bring up a notification saying connected to hand. And just wait and don't click on anything on your con uh, console and thingy. So you will get some notifications. Um, RS glitching and stuff. So you will see some uh, cool notifications. You can play with the RTM tool when the YouTube channel here flashes, changes from colors again. So just wait, don't do anything. And also, uh, if you are going to mod multiplayer, so if you're gonna use a multiplayer, um, what's it called, a mod menu, you can check the anti-ban. However, I even though I didn't check it, 
I still didn't got banned. So I don't know, just saying. So now that we are connected, everything works. And this color here, like the text here flashes from colors. That means we're good to go. Uh, what you can do is spoof your IP. If you're like in a lobby and you're like, okay, yeah, this guy can get my IP. Just click once or twice. Uh, just click click on it one time. It should say like uh, IP spoofed or something. If you don't see it, wait a minute and then try again. From here, uh, we are going to click on mod loader GSC. Okay. Now don't touch this. Okay. Just don't touch this. Uh, let's switch back to the console. Okay. The console, what we have to do, start the game. You have to be in a match in the map, spawned in, playing the map, um, or playing the game actually. So I have new time because it loads up way faster. There you go. It's almost done. There you go. So we are already in the in the fucking match. Um, you can change your name and stuff in the lobby. That's not the problem. But the main problem is to inject the GSC files or you know meaning mod menus. Uh, you have to be in the map playing you know stuff like this so when we are in the map spawned in ready to move and stuff just pause the game and switch back over to the pc so as you may have noticed um in the bo2 rtm tool folder you will have a, a folder called maps mp game types zm client dot gsc um which means that we can have fun. This is the map menu, uh, but you just have to select this one in your in here. So don't worry about it. We'll do this. Um, now click on zombies. So default zombies, and it says maps MP game types ZM, and then says uh, what's it client ID as or something and that Jesse, which is. We'll see maps MP game types ZM clients. There we go. So yeah, it works. Um, now press on inject mod menu slash game mode. Press on it and it will bring up this menu thingy here. Um, now for me, for you it might be in um, documents. Uh, for me, it opened the original download path. So what I will do is go to the desktop and search for this file we have downloaded, right? We have to navigate to here. So you can like copy that, paste that, and we are here. Double click on it. Now you can see the color froze. Uh, on the console, let's just move around, see what we can do, stuff like that, and keep an eye out on the thing itself. So it should say GSC injected on your desktop, um, which is cool, but I I believe that usually it should say like, you know, uh, you you should get a notification saying like, hmm. Uh, RTM tool has been disconnected and then it has been connected again so or timed out or something okay so let's switch over to the console and I will show you exactly what to do okay so in here um, what you, all you have to do is just end the game and then just start the map back up okay we're in the lobby start the match back up and it should work um, however I'm not sure because it usually say like timed out and then connected. Hopefully this will not freeze. Okay, cool. Okay, so we're good. Okay, cool. Um, let's spawn in. There we go. And the way you open this menu, it's a bit weird. You don't aim in a knife or press a square while aiming in and stuff. You press L1 to aim in and then you press circle once. And it will open the menu. So what we have here is if you press square, it selects it and D pads to navigate and knife is to go back and close the menu. So uh, host menus, we do got mode. 
Okay, right, there we go. Got moves on. I didn't saw that one. Uh, unlimited ammo. Self speed. Now I love the view of view. Set that to about that. Clone invisible. Don't need that. Points menu. Add points. Go up to max points. Uh, weapons menu. Weapons. Let's go for Raygun Mark II. Equipment. Okay, no equipment. Um, perks. Now, it says here all perks, but that's for multiplayer. So apparently you can you use this for multiplayer, I guess. Okay. Uh, we do Juggernaut, Speed Cola, Quick Revive, Double Tap. Um, if you have a option for um, the thing that you speed that you, that you run longer stamina up uh, because some mount menus does that uh, that it has stamina up stamina up is not on nuketown so if there's a perk on the list uh, that you can get on the menu but it's actually not in the map available unless you have the random perk machine uh, then just don't press on it because that will like you know fuck it up so let's go into fun menu uh we have third person that's always kind of fun uh mark to rain teddy wave jetpack call of duty jumper okay now you can also do clients menu and then got more player points teleport to me or me to him so yeah and then give him menus and stuff um Theme, let's do pink. I like pink. Uh, let's see what else. Gun position, VIP. No clip, let's do that. Teddy protector, it's quite useful. Auto revive, quite good. And where is game? Let me see, somewhere. Is it in. Let me see. Uh, there we go game settings and we do open all doors this will only open all doors not debris doors there you go and you can do far modded perks always fun unlimited sprint freeze the box the easter egg song reset lobby anti quit quit and let's see what else what isn't vip menu oh, yeah, i already checked that out now we do zombies menu rounds editor uh holy shit okay let's not fuck with that uh we do show zombies left so we have the zombies counter seven and you got some you get the idea so let's go ahead and where is the mr oh there's mr box so yeah, okay, let's go and use no clip. Yeah, RPG, really? Is this gonna be fucked? Oh yeah, by the way, if you have money perks on, and <coughs> uh, if you have money perks on, and you have a like, single shot thingy, where it, like shots one bullet and then it originally like reloads with modded perks and this also works with modded binds so black ops one for example if you press and hold r1 and then triangle uh, i mean square to reload it spams the shit out so for example if i hold this oh it, 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 yeah obviously it's already doesn't it already does that now so for example you see i'm holding it but nothing happens but if i hold square it shoots, you know, the whole clip. Okay, for multiplayer menus, I like to use the other RTM tool, the diff a different RTM tool, which is included in the same download pack. Uh, so be a two hand RTM tool and just connect, you know, by entering in your, uh, what's it called, your IP address on your console. Uh, but make sure you don't have any RTM tools running. So close the one you're using and then open up another one. Alright, so in here, um, 
the RTM tool is connected and I can prove that by going into name changer and I just do to to well to real video sexy host and let's just put a fucking smiley in there bro set name should change wait it doesn't change the what wow what a fucking cunt does flash work? Huh? It actually okay. So okay, okay. Fuck it then. Um. <clears throat> okay. Um. Let's just go into custom games then. Setup games. Change map. It's on Newton. It's on Newton already. Just start the recording. Uh. Wow. Start the um game. Start the match. It's the same as before where we did on zombies. You have to spawn in the map, be able to run, play and stuff like that. And let me get a good weapon though, hold on. And that one. Okay, cool. Now, we can't move, but um, you're spawned in the map. That's the most important thing. When you spawn in the map, um, what we have to do is switch over to the desktop. I will show you this in the desktop. So what we have to do is, uh, you see I tried the name change if it doesn't work. Uh, go to GSC Injector and press on Fox Sony V3. GSC Inject. That's actually quick. I don't believe it worked. Not even a bit. Nah, I don't believe it. So let's do... Uh, elegance. Okay, no, okay, this one doesn't work. This one doesn't work, guys. Uh, close. Let's go in... Multi-RTM tool. Let's use that one, then. Choose game, Black Ops 2, start the tool. Okay. Connect and attach. Okay, Jesse Injector, and we do Caked Up, we press on there once, and then we just move around a bit, see, it says, whoa, it says Game Mode Injected Successfully, what? Oh, there we go, Jesse Injected, I don't believe it though, okay. One way to find out end the game because as long as, as far as i remember um it should give you a notification on the upper right corner of your ps3 screen where it says that your client rtm tool is timed out or disconnected and then it will say connected but we'll see let's start the match again it may work or yeah yeah i don't know it may work not sure though. <laughs> okay, let's find out. Spawn in. Oh, okay, it works. So, and we can move around. Uh, press L1 and what? There we go, L1 and knife. But these are old menus, but hey. Um, so to navigate, you use, okay, D-pads. And just X to, okay. And then you knife to go back. Okay, cool. But how do we close it then? With square. Okay. So L1 knife. Uh it says here edit quick mod pack. We do gaunt mode. Double speed. Unlimited ammo. All perks. Oh, and my favorite toggle FOV. 70. 80, let's go for 120, come on. 100 and 110, no, 120, yeah. Fun stuff, UFO mode, all trophies, <laughs> teleport, oh, I like that. Teleport. Cool. Weapons. Yeah. 
Let's see, what else do we have? We have visions. Don't really fuck around with visions. VIP. Uh, spec nade, super nade. Okay, well, cool. Uh, you can give clients some menus, I believe. Yeah, verify player, co host, admin, kick this cunt, <laughs> ban this cunt. Ah, oh, that's not cool though. Teleport to me, give got more, take all weapons. Um, let's see. There's like a temporary ban, I believe. Or it's just that it freezes the console, so it needs to turn off the console. Bot menu, spawn, max bots. Cool. And then we do aim bot menu. Uh, not now, because we have teleport thingy on. So. Yep, it works. It freaking works. Um, oh, shit balls. Okay, hold on. Shit. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Let's also turn on no no scope aimbot. There we go. So we should be able to... There we go. Boom, bitch. Fucking cheating ass cunt. Yeah, I'm sorry. Look at this. Oh, I'm mean, is back to normal. Good. So, oh, so they can see a modding. Look. Oh, dude, this one's awesome. They can see a modding. Nice. But yeah, there you go. A quick little video to show you on how to mod or get a mod menu fully working, operation, operating, operational, whatever. Uh, fully working and functioning as it should on your ps3 console this was recorded on a ps3 super slim so how cool is that uh thanks to enabling ham and obviously the exploit team and you know just the hybrid firmware and stuff so i want to thank you for watching this video you can see it yep this is my new microphone and uh, did you watch the unboxing of it and setting up no watch it uh, but yeah, I do want to thank you guys for watching this video and if there's any questions or you need some help or whatever Related or unrelated to this topic Leave a comment down below or what I definitely suggest you to do is join in our discord server We have admins moderators crew members and stuff and just a great community in one place and I'm, I believe that they can help you out if I can so And you know vice versa. So thank you again for watching this video and I will catch you in the next one. Peace <laughs> Oh, <laughs>